Investigators in Huntington County are hoping that two child sex abuse cases will inspire more victims to come forward. The crimes are not connected, but officials say bringing these cases to light could help them solve more sex crimes. And Erin Calandra has details on two of the more recent cases that police are dealing with. She's live in State College tonight with that story. Erin? Marty, Jen, officials are calling these two men serial child rapists. And although their cases are not connected, officials are concerned that there could be more victims out there, and they're asking those people to come forward. 29-year-old Andrew Patterson of Mill Creek has a long criminal history involving sexual abuse of children. According to court documents back in 2007, police charged him with possession of child pornography, prostitution with a minor, along with other related charges. Last year, police arresting him for similar charges dating back to 2011. Both times, Patterson cut a deal. And then negotiated a plea to a corruption of minors and he got probation. Then in 2012, um, very similar conduct occurred. He was scheduled for a non-jury trial, and uh, on the day of the non-jury trial, we entered into a plea. And just this week, he's charged yet again, this time for rape of a child dating back to 2012. Police say Patterson lured a 15-year-old boy to his farm, offering to pay him for help. According to court documents, once on the property along Mill Creek Hollow Road, Patterson allegedly locked the teen in a barn, forced him to the ground, and raped him. I firmly believe with his recent conviction, he will do jail time. Um, and then with this most recent case, if we are successful with a prosecution, he will serve a very lengthy period of time. In an unrelated case, 45-year-old Darcy Fleck of Huntington is facing nearly 5,000 felonies for allegedly raping two teenagers. This was uh, over, a, I believe, a two or three year period of time. And according to the information that we received from the victims, it was almost on a daily basis that they're being assaulted. Smith believes there may be more victims out there, and if that's the case, he encourages you to come forward. I have the utmost respect for victims who come forward and are, are willing to come to court and say, this is what happened to me. Both men are in the Hunt Huntington County Jail tonight awaiting preliminary hearings. Live in State College, Erin Calandra, 6.